hey guys welcome back once again so in the previous class we have seen the what is the need of studying the multiple access protocol in this today class we will try to understand what is the meaning of the random access protocol under random access protocol we are going to discuss the aloha protocol right so first we will try to understand what is the meaning of the random access protocol later on we will see that what is the operation of the aloha protocol right so see that so when we require this kind of situation when you have only single link the single link will be shared by the multiple devices then we have the problem right so for that reason we are going to study this protocol it means that how effectively we can send the information from the source to destination based on that we have some protocol the first one is what random access protocol <coughs> in random access or contention method no station is superior to the another station or none is assigned to control over another right it means that for example as we know that in the previous class if you are sending the information from only one particular pc to another pc it means that the frame is going to be transmitted by that particular pc there will be no collision it means that we can happily send the information when we will be getting the collision when multiple devices are trying to access the single communication channel at the same time we will be having the collision one packet will be or one frame will be collide with the another one this is what we call as the collision so in case of the random access means there is nothing something like this no station is superior to another station it means that if you want to send the packet you can send or if this one guy this station want to send the packet or frame this can also happily send right it means that no station permits or does not permit another station to send right so here we have the freedom that any station that can send the frame at any point of the time period that is the meaning of the random access but see that we don't know whether this guy is sending at the same time this guy is sending the station absolutely don't have any idea about the another station this thing you you need to keep in mind right it means that i feel that i can send the information this also guy can feel that this can also send information this station also feels that this can also send information so when multiple frames are coming in the single channel what will be happen that boom will be occur right that is what we called as the collision operation so this is high chances collision will be occur in the random access method so see that each station has the right to medium without being controlled by the any other station however if more than one station tries to stand there is an access clan fit collision and the frames will be either destroyed or modified right that is the meaning of this one so under this the first protocol we are going to study is the aloha protocol right so it is works based on the random access protocol the first one is the aloha protocol so if you see this the original aloha protocol is called as the pure aloha protocol that we are going to discuss this is a simple but elegant protocol right so the idea is that each station sends a frame whenever it has a frame to send suppose for example i have how many station here one two three four stations are four system i have suppose here i have the frame so that whenever i have the frame to send somewhere i can happily listen there is no restriction there is no control in case of the random access protocol right so however since there is only one channel to share this is only one channel to share there is a possibility of the collision between the frames from different station suppose if you are sending here the frame what you are sending here you feel that you have the frame to send from one place to the another place the same time this station s3 also thinks that i have the frame to send now what will be happen using the single single communicational channel this is going to send the frame this is also going to send the frame the moment when come to here particular period of the time period now what will be happen collision will be occur right now see that how many station we here we have station 1 station 2 station 3 station 4 just for understanding purpose now for example here what is the given scenario is that we have the four station remember that so this is not separate channel separate channel separate channel you need to make the assumption or thinking is that these four channels you consider as a single channel right this assumption is very very important guys otherwise you will not understand this concept right so here we cannot able to show the how collision will be occur so for that reason we are going to consider something mechanism like this but you need to consider this is something only single channel that is a one more important point to be understand for understanding the pure aloha protocol now see that we have the four stations right so the content with one another for access to the shared channel the figure shows that 
each station sends two frame it means that for example in this case each station is sending the two frames for example station 1 it is going to send the first frame as well as the second frame station 2 nothing but the frame 2.1 means first frame 2.2 means second frame so 3.1 means station 3 sending the one frame somewhere here we will be having, having one more frame like that you assume so station 4 also sending the two frames right now what will be happen means if you see that you will understand one frame will be survive right that is nothing but the this only particular frame will be survive remaining all frames will get collide so what will be happen i told that when multiple frame each station is sending how many frames two to two frames right now what is happening here means suppose this is the frame of the station series like that you consider now how many frames here will be survived means this station one first frame will survive station station three second frame will survive why means that see that i told you to make assumption of this is also complete one single ch channel right now what will be happen see means at this point of time period this one is coming let us you assume something like this now here no other frame is coming to collide with this one something like this you consider this is one bus this is another bus something like this you consider like this now see that if it is hit this one then only we called as the collision right so at this point of time period we have only one bus here we don't have any another bus something like this you understand now here see that in this frame size this is the duration right in this duration right so here hitting is occurring occurring see that it means that you consider this is a single channel single channel means this one so inside this how many frames we have one two three four something is there this is what we called as the collation duration again if you observe here this is one frame this is another frame it means that the two stations some nothing but station two station four is trying to send the frame at the same time if it is sending the frame at the same time as per the single communication channel we will be having the something called as the collision occur so out of eight frames how many will be survived is only two frames will be survived the one of the frame is station one frame another frame is nothing but the station three frame right so this is what you have to understand now question is that how i can able to stop this occurring of the collision so as we know that when you are sending the information right from one source to the destination if something collision is occur now what we have to do is we need to perform the retransmission operation so what is the meaning of the retransmission operation means sending the same frame again from the source mission to the destination mission now question is that now what is the question is that how i can able to identify whether my frame is successfully received or not the only thing is that we need to get the acknowledgement in real time we don't know the moment we are sending the frame we don't know what about this station 4 station 2 as well as the station 3 if you know if station 3 is something it is transmitting means the station station 1 will keep quiet for some time right in real time scenario what the point you have to understand is that each station does not know anything about the next station so it is think that whenever it finds the channel is free or whenever it finds that there is a frame to send it is sending the same system second system also thinking that whenever it is having the frame it is going to sending because there is no relation between one station to the another station but the point is that each station is sharing the common communication medium right now i am sending the frame right so now how i can able to uh, know that whether the frame is successfully reached to the received or not means the only thing is that if i get the acknowledgement then what i can able to decide is that my frame is successfully transmitted from the source to destination right so now see that within the time period you are waiting for this uh, sorry, time time out time out time period right so within the time out period if you don't receive the any acknowledgement back now what you have to do is the next second we need to send the again frame one more time because if you didn't get the acknowledgement means now what you have to do is again we need to retransmit the frame so now first time what happened you send the information let us s1 send the frame s4 also send the frame so due to same time multiple frames are being transmitted means collision occur so we will wait for what acknowledgement from the receiver so as you know that if collision is occur you cannot able to get the acknowledgement once timeout timer period is out right so it means that timeout period is passes now what again the station one is doing means immediately it is sending the frame again what station four is doing means again immediately it is sending the frame now what will be happen can you able to guess at the same time these two things are again sending the frame right because within the timeout period it does not re receive the acknowledgement so it assumes that frame is lost 
Now as soon as immediate login S1 is started sending up the frame, S4 is also sending the frame. Again some period of time period what will be happen? The two frames will be collide each other. Right? Now how to stop this one? Right? So as we know that the moment if I didn't receive the acknowledgement, I am sending the frame. The same time let us S4 also sending the frame. Again collision will occur. After some time this interval will be over. Again you are sending the frame, S4 also sending the frame. So it means that you cannot able to Right, send your frame successfully even if you are sending the frame multiple times also. Now one question to solve this problem, this is not perfect solution but one idea is that we have something called as the back of time nothing but the TB. TB is nothing but what? Back of time. So what is the back of time means? First time I am sending the S1 frame, S4 also sending the frame due to that collision is occurring. Now what will be happen? So within the timer is expired, so it will not send the frame immediately. Right now, see that the randomness. So, see that each station waits a random amount of the time period before resending its frame. So, what is the meaning of one means as soon as if S1 send, as soon as if S4 send, what is happening? The collision is occurring. Now, what is the meaning of the back of time means each station that waits a random amount of the time before resending its frame. After first frame is that collision is occur that is determined by the station. Now what station will do is it will wait for the random amount of the time period. It may be any random amount of the time period. Now why we need to wait for the random amount of the time period? Now if we wait for the random amount of the time period, what is the benefit we will be getting is that you can observe from this diagram. Now see that after frame is last, now it is waiting without sending the immediately. It is waiting for the 3 minutes. Let us be like this. Now this is second one is waiting for the 6 minutes. Now what will be happen? So see that at the third means third minute it is going to send its frame but it will not send the frame at that time period. It will wait for a random time is nothing but the 6 minutes. Now happily within 3, 4, 5 minutes it will reach the frame to the destination right. Right once it is completed it will stop sending the frame right. Now this guy can able to send. Right so this is one way is that we can wait for the back of time. There may be possibility of the avoidance of the collision. So it is not completely avoid your collision but this back of time is important right so in the next we have the flow diagram where back of time will play the crucial role now even after waiting for the back of time also there may be something so after this one more mission will be the station where it is using the back of time is something three minutes now what will be happen these both this will send this will send again collision will occur right now what we have to do is after maximum number of retransmission attempt let it be k maximum value in this case in this class we are going to consider the 15 atoms even though after we waiting for the back of time also after back to back of time is completed you are sending the frame even again it is colliding we are not going to send the packets infinite of the time period let it be k ma maximum value is something 15 it means that we are trying to make the 15 atoms for sending the frames even all 15 atoms it is fail now what station must give up and it should stop and try again later so this is what the procedure we are going to do here now we'll see the what is the procedure for the pure aloha protocol so right so i have some stations so first i'm going to send some information from the one station to the another station so if collision occur how many times i can able to send some number of atoms we have right so the number of atoms k we are going to consider the 15 atoms even though after waiting for the back of time right if collision still occurs we didn't get the acknowledgement within timeout period now we are going to send the frame like that we are going to send the frame 15 times if 15 time also if frame is does not reach to the receiver successfully then we are going to stop and we are going to try again later now see that what is the meaning of k number of atoms it may be in first attempt also if channel is free it can succeed now what is the meaning of tp means maximum propagation time so as we know that if after getting acknowledgement only the system will be able to conclude that the information reached to the receiver successfully right now what is the how much time so for, for suppose for example s1 want to send the frame from the s4 right now this is the time period we are calling as the one time period so that is what we called as the propagation time period propagation time period means the amount of the time which the frame we can be reach it to the receiver from the transmitter called as the propagation time so first thing is that the information will reach to the station 4 after that what will be happen it has to know that whether information reached successfully or not right now what it will do is it will send the acknowledgement back to the system this is one more 
propagation time periods right so tp is the map maximum propagation time period right so to send the packet as well as the receive the packet something like this you can consider so that is what we called as the round trip time so what is the meaning of round trip time means sending the data as well as the receive the acknowledgement that is what we called as the tp plus tp that is nothing but the 2 tp is the round trip time so propagation time period means the maximum propagation time to send the packet from the transmitter to the receiver right now what is the meaning of frame time means average transmission time for the frame so suppose for example this is the length of your frame right so let it be some bits are considering here this length we called as the frame time right if the length of this one something is large means more number of bits are something like this means this is the length of the particular frame see this is maximum propagation time means to send the data so this is what is the frame it is going to send this is what we called as the frame time remember the difference between the tp as well as the frame time now what is the back of time once collision is occur we are going to wait for the random amount of the time period that is what we called as the back of time now we'll see the procedure first station s1 wants to send the information so first it is going to make the first attempt nothing but it is going to make the first attempt it is going to send the packet right so first attempt sees it is noting that it is making the first attempt so it is sending the frame at the station one right so now what will be happen means it will wait for how much time right whether the frame is successfully received or not so by using this transmission period acknowledgement period only we need to wait right then only we will be getting the frame is successfully reached or not right so it is waiting for the 2 into tp transmission acknowledgement so tp plus tp it is waiting for the 2 tp let it be this is the 3 minutes time period this is the 3 minutes so it will wait for the 6 minutes within the 6 minutes it is not going to get the acknowledgement means the s1 will think that frame is last so again it will wait for the some time period again it will retransmit the frame that is the meaning of the timeout time period right so after sending the frame it will wait for the round up time period right so now what will be happen within these six minutes or two into tp nothing but six minutes if acknowledgement is received done the frame is successfully completed so success then again if you want we can send the one more frame if you have suppose within this time period you are not getting the acknowledgement it means that what will be happen another medium also might be sending the one more packet something this one or this one now collision is occurred it means that what will be happen even though if you are wait for the six minutes also you cannot get the acknowledgement now what the station will think is that the frame is last now what it has to do again it is sent the same frame right yes sir, yes or no again it has to send the same frame now what it will do is it will make the one more attempt right so that is nothing but 0 plus 1 is nothing but 1 right so it is making the one more attempt now it will be check that so how many maximum time we are trying to send only 15 time right only 15 times right now see that it will count with this condition this count is greater than or equal to 15 if it is maximum reaches that many times if they send the packet then it will be about the operation it will wait for the some more time now as we told that right so it will wait for some period of the time period right if you see this one is waiting for the 0 3 minutes another waiting for the 0 6 minute right so it is waiting for the random number between so this is the binary exponential back of value we can wait in from 0 to 2 power k minus 1 value right so how much random number we are taking so random time we are taking based on that now what we have to do is we have the backup time right we need to wait for the some time right if frame is last so that is backup time how to calculate it means so this is the maximum propagation time tp or if you want you can consider the frame time also right so this is r into tp right so now why we need to consider this random value r into tp why if tp is only considered sufficient means suppose for example this guy is sending to the information this guy so how much time it, it will be take some propagation time is tp right now this guy also sending the information within the same time period what will be happen tp tp means it is also sending the same time it is also same time so collision will be occur now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take random value suppose for example i'm going to three minutes the propagation time is something here two so three into two is i'll wait for the five minutes now this system that what is the propagation time it is same three only but how much time are it is going to wait something it is six now what is the value three into six is nothing but the 18 minutes it is going to wait for so for that we are taking some random time 
which is different for the one system to the another system so it is going to calculate the what is the propagation time so based on that it will wait then it will send the information right so after sending also if it is not getting acknowledgement then again it procedure will be continuous until when when k greater than or equal to k max so this is the procedure you need to understand now what is the next thing you have to understand is that what is the vulnerable time for the pure aloha protocol so right so for example if you observe here suppose for example this is the frame of the particular station this is the frame of the particular station now see that this is the time period t right so this is the frame of the time period t so now see that if this station this is station one something station two station three something if at the same time if another station also send the frame what is happening see that so here also some packet will be there here also some information will be there see that here collision will be occur it means that if you have the two buses if bus one bus is here if second bus is here something there will be no collision now what is the condition is that so the moment first bus is going the second bus also will be coming into the picture it means that here we will be having the something called as the collision or accident is occurring right so now what is the vulnerable time for time for the pure aloha means this is one nothing but tfr another if one more frame is also waiting with the time period of tfr greater than tfr now we will not be getting the collision that is the meaning of the tfr see that one point right we assume that station send the fixed length of the frame which each frame taking the tfr to send so this is the vulnerable time for the figure here right so now see that here what is if see collision means the entire frame will should not be collide with the entire frame if one part of the frame is collide also that is what we called as a collision right if you touch the one bus edge with the another bus also that is what we called as the accident right the same way so if you don't want to make the collision so the length of the frame after some time so this is t this is t if there is time this 2t t t 2t then we will be getting the no vulnerability problem so before this we have something called as the accident or vulnerable time that you have to understand right i hope you understand the pure aloha protocol in next class we'll try to see the right so one more protocol nothing but the slotted aloha protocol